Hello and welcome. I'm Stephanie Smith, aka Business Chic Mama, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to add Amazon listings with variations. Before we get started into the actual tutorial, I wanted to talk to you about what Amazon calls these listings when you have variations. They call them the parent listing and the child listing. And at first I was a little confused. I'm like, what the heck is this? What is parent? What is child? But it when I dove deep and I figured it out, um, it's actually not very um, difficult to understand. I'm going to break it down for you really actually pretty easily. So um, this is also the method without having to do it with spreadsheets. If you have just a few variations, this works perfectly. So the first step is to understand what parent and child listings are. The parent listing is kind of like the holding place where all of the child listings go. The child listings are the, your actual product. So let's say, for example, you have a t-shirt in red and blue in three different sizes of each. So each child would be each separate listing. So you'd have, let's say, example, red small would be one child listing. Red medium would be your second. Red uh, large would be your third and so on and so forth. So you have to create a listing for each one of those variations. After you do that, you're going to go back and create the holding place that combines all of these child listings. So when you go on Amazon, you click on a product, you can see all the different variations. Those are all the child listings. The, it's important to note that the actual parent listing is not a sellable product. It's just a holding space, so everything can be neatly uh, bundled underneath one um, style or not even a style, it could be just one product. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create all your child listings. I have, um, I'm going to do my example with chandelier earrings. I have them in gold and in silver. If you can see them right here, I created one is for gold and one is for silver. Um, we have two different SKU numbers and that's after you created that, we're gonna go ahead and go back to inventory, create a new listing or sorry, add a product, and this is where you're going to create the parent to hold these um, listings. You're going to go to create a new product listing, even though it's not technically a real product, it's the holding place, and you go find your category. Now, it's also important to note that the category has to be exactly how you have it listed on your child listings. So I have clothing, shoes, and jewelry, I have um, novelty because I cannot sell, sell find um, jewelry. It costs a lot of money and you need to be approved and I'm not there yet. So I'm going to go to jewelry. I'm going to go to earrings and mine are drop and dangle earrings. So you're going to just create a whole new listing. You don't have to fill everything out. Just the red asterisks is where you're going to fill everything out and it doesn't even have to be completely filled out. So like for the title I'm just going to put gold and silver drop earrings. This is not where the SEO needs to be. This is just the holding place manufacturer. And your brand. Now, I am my own brand, so I don't need to have a product ID. Um, Amazon will select one for me. If you have a product ID, you would fill it in here and um, whatever that may be, your UPC or ASI, ASIN number, okay? And you're just gonna fill out everything here that needs to be filled out. Um, just bear with me, I'm gonna do all that right now. Not applicable, there is no gems and there is no settings, okay? Now the only other thing that you need to fill out is where you go to variations and you're going to select your variation here. So in my case, I have variation would be um, col uh, color. Now if you see here where I highlighted color or display length, that's gonna give you two separate variations. You see you can put color here and then the length. Those are different variations, but we're not doing that one. We're just gonna do, um, let's cancel that one. We're gonna do just color, okay? As you can see, now I've got just color. So we've got gold, push enter, and some another uh, pop-up will come for silver, and enter. 
Now if you go scroll down, you're going to push Add Variations, and look what happens. You're going to see the gold and the silver pop underneath, and this is where you're going to go back, get those individual skew, skews, and that's going to create that parent listing for you. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, so here's a skew is, um, I believe this the gold is 1099. So I'm going to put gold for the color map, and the SKU is 1099, and the price, and don't worry about your quantity, you can always fill that in later, just set it to 1, and silver, and it's 1020, and the price, and the quantity. And that's it, that's all you need to have, and see, it matched it up, okay? And that's it. You don't need to go and fill out all of the other things and, and you don't need to fill out um, photos or descriptions or anything like that. This is just going to be your holding place. We're going to do save and finish. And after that's done, it will pop up and you'll see what I mean in one moment after this goes through Amazon. I'm going to show it to you actually on another product how your variation, your holding place will look. Oh great, we have a, an error. Hmm. Okay, well you know what? It's going to show up looking like this. Let me show you what the actual parent um, child. It's going to look just like this. I have one right here. See where it says variations to? If I click on that arrow, I have two different variations right there. So this is the this is the parent right here, women's chain belt, and these are the actual child listings. These are the separate listings where you want to go all out with your descriptions and your SEO, etc. So let's go ahead and see if, um, for some reason, don't know what happened there. Um, it says Amazon was having an issue, but that's really as simple as it is. Once you push save and finish. You're going to have something that looks like this, where it's highlighted. That's going to pop up, and it'll be right on the top. And then these two will be underneath where that little arrow is. Um, and then when you go to your listing, you'll see them popping up as two different variations. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Please leave in the comments if you have any questions or um, anything else that you'd like to ask me about Amazon that you don't understand. I can try to help you out. And please like and subscribe to my videos and my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will be doing some more tutorials in the near future. Um, it's really great to help out, you know, especially when you've learned something and you want to help out other people that are having the same issues as you and you've figured it out. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you guys soon.